everyone, welcome back to the family room. Um, I'm filming in here because it's just too hot to film in my bedroom. It just, so for reasons I don't understand, it's much cooler in the family room. So this is where I'm filming for the foreseeable future till the temperatures drop. So welcome to August Favorites. It's been quite a month. It feels like the longest month of the year. It was back to school for the kids. Football season ramped up, two-a-days, practices, parent meetings. I am exhausted and we're just a few days into the school year. So I thought I would run through fairly quickly. I'll try this time to go through my August Favorites, throw in a few non-beauty things. So let's start with what you really can't see on camera, which is this necklace, which I've been wearing a lot. This is from Bobble Bar. I think it's called the... I don't know what it's called. Tassel is in the word. I, it comes in different colors. I particularly like this one. It's rose gold and the little leather, they are leather tassels. Leather's very in for fall. They are sort of a rosy beige, I wanna say. Let's call them blush. And it's just a really nice neutral. It looks good with black and gray and cream and beige and it's just a nice little delicate punch and it just lays perfectly where I want it to lay on my torso and I love it other non-beauty related things. Um, I've been going through an entire series of books by the author Laura Ann Gilman. They are, I think, called the Retriever series. They're a science fiction paranormal kind of uh, mystery series. So if you're into that thing, these are right up your alley. They're actually two separate series and there are some crossover characters. There's actually a third. She writes a lot of books in the set in the same sort of world. And I think there's at least three series of books that kind of interact with all those characters. I'm not doing you any justice. I will put a link to the first book of each of the series that I'm reading by her and then you can read the synopsis because Amazon will do a better job than I will. Let me know if you've read any of her stuff um, or if you do pick up one of the books, let me know what you think about it. Blogger that I have been loving, um, A Girl Obsessed. If you are a blogger or you are curious about what goes on behind the scenes in blogging, she is your go-to girl. She does write posts, beauty and some fashion, but really her strengths lie in blogging advice. Everything from all the technical stuff, photography, how to set up a shot, blogging ideas, website stuff. She has been a, well, she doesn't know who I am, but to me, she's been a huge help in my journey through getting my blog kind of up and running a little bit better. It's still a work in progress, but I've learned a lot from reading her blog. Um, now, let's see, I'm, I have notes, I'm trying to be focused. Okay, another non-beauty favorite. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with scents that are at amber related from my favorite perfume, Hermes Amber Nargile, to all of the dupes for it, to this. This actually smells very similar to the Hermes fragrance that I love. And Diptyque usually makes a coordinating scent to their candles, but for some reason, not this one. But this one, I don't know what size this is. Um, it is the six and a half ounce size. Like got this, Nordstrom carries the whole line, which is very convenient. Oh, a little goes a long way. It scents my whole room. I burn it in my room. It's a very sexy scent. Like I wouldn't burn this in the family room. This is a bedroom kind of candle. On to skincare. I'm so excited. Um, Carolyn Hirons had curated a box of her favorite things through Cult Beauty back in May, and I've been trialing all the products. And another standout that has, I think, made a huge difference in my skin is the Oskia London Micro Exfoliating Balm. And it doesn't look like much. I mean, I made kind of a good sized dent in the middle there. It has a lovely, fresh, herbal, almost faint citrusy scent to it. It looks like a like a balm, like a giant pot of lip balm. It has the tiniest of grains of exfoliation in there. And it's very similar to my Colin Rothschild all-time favorite radiant cleansing balm, except this is like an exfoliating version. So you have that lovely, I still have some on my fingers, that lovely slip um, on the skin. You do this after you've already cleansed your face. It's like your last step and you do it anywhere from two to three times a week. I want to see what else it tells you to do. Um, you add, you put it on a, on a dry face and then you massage it and you gradually add water and it becomes more exfoliating and kind of like a milky substance, almost like a, a milk wash. And then you just wash it off with warm water. And it's, it says it's particularly good for mature, dry, or hormonal skin. So who doesn't fall into one of those categories? Anyway, I love it. I'm so excited. The new box is out. I think by the time this goes up, it will be sold out. I'm sorry. If it's not, I'll put a link below. All new products. Yay. Almost forgot. Wanted to mention it in case you miss it. Colleen Rothschild is having a friends and family 25% off sale, which is huge. I've already placed my order and stocked up on a few things. Um, eye cream, balancing, cleansing gel, and face oil. 
but um, the code is friends and I will list it below just in case because oh, 25% off is kind of a huge thing. So um, that was it. That's my public service announcement. Okay, I'm going to go to really expensive and really not expensive all in one shot. So um, these were sent to me by a friend a while back. These are the This is the Purology Nano Work Shampoo and Conditioner. A fairly healthy sample size. I got quite a few washes out of these. And my hair, I'm wearing it straight now. I haven't worn it straight much lately, but I'm starting to again. My hair just loved these. It, it just dried softer, less frizz. Um, my color has been looking great. I really like these. I don't know if I will repurchase them in the full size because it's very expensive, but if Ulta has a sale, anything's possible. But I really, I really like these. I've never used Purology shampoos before, so I'm really glad that the, that my friend sent me them, and I really, really liked them. Now onto the completely non-expensive side. I picked these guys up at the drugs, not the drugstore, the grocery store at my H-E-B, but I know they're all over the place, and this is the Ren Pure Originals Argan Oil Luxurious Shampoo and Luxurious Conditioner, and you know, they're just Argan Oil type shampoos. Um, they're probably around five or six dollars each, and they do supposedly provide a natural, I'm, I'm doing air quotes, natural barrier against UV rays. I don't know, but I can tell you that my hair has felt soft, silky, less frizzy. Um, I can go a good three days in between washes if I'm not working out, um, and my hair feels clean but not stripped. I'm really, I really enjoy them, and my hairdresser has said my hair is in great shape. So I just have been using the same Too Chic Brazilian Keratin Shampoo for years and thought, just mix it up a little bit. I'd run out, and I really, really enjoy them. Okay, now on to makeup. So I was trying to just use this up because I bought this a while back, didn't love it, started using it, and have completely fallen in love. This is, the packaging is limited edition, but this is the YSL Touche Claw, the famous highlighter. Mine is in the shade 02, the original shade. It comes in other tones as well, and I have been using this. You all have noticed how I'm really highlighting a lot. Um, I use this. I used it a lot in my Get Ready With Me video with Makeup Geek, so I will link that below. On the tops of my cheekbones, under my eyes, in the middle of my face, down my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, kind of the strobing effect. It's a dry-ish consistency, so um, it blends really nicely into the skin without feeling heavy, and I've been finding that it's been great at the end of the day. If I want to just perk up a little bit, just a quick little swipe under each eye, pat it in, and you're good to go. So while I did not love this at first, I really like it a lot, and I will be repurchasing it once it does wear up, wear up, once I use it up. Um, I've used other ones that are similar. The Clinique Airbrush Concealer comes to mind, the MAC. Uh, Prep and Prime. Those are thicker, more liquidy consistency. They're great products and I use those as well, but as far as like blending in real fast and moving in with your makeup, this thing is still the gold standard. Now to a little less expensive option. I have really been having fun with Makeup Geek and there are a couple of standouts. I ordered the uh, Makeup Geek blush in Honeymoon and the Honeymoon is not over. I love this blush. I love it. It is just the perfect Barely there, flush of color, glowy cheeks. That's the look I'm going for. If you're not into glow, you're gonna hate this. But um, the packaging, mine stopped rattling. It rattled when I first got it. It settled into the packaging. Um, packaging is pretty, you know, it's nothing to write home about. There is a lot of fallout when you tap your brush in, but it's just, can you see that gleam from way back here? Yeah, like I feel like it's just reflecting light. It's beautiful and it blends well and it lasts a long time on the cheeks. So. I need another blush, like I need a hole in the head, but I think I'm gonna go pick up more. I don't know if she makes a highlighter. Will someone let me know? I guess I could go look myself. If she makes a highlighter that's anything like this, oh my gosh, I'm all over it. And the other thing I'm all over are her shadows. So here's my little collection of Makeup Geek shadows. I will be ordering more. The price point, I think they're, the foil ones might be $9 each. The regular ones are $6 each, I believe. I need more. I just, I do, I need, I want them. I'm not big on the colors, but the neutrals, oh, they're beautiful, they're creamy, they're pigmented, the color payoff like, is wonderful, they blend well, and um, you can get them in the pans. I get them like this, um, so I can just pop them into the Z palette. She, she makes a great product, that Marlena, good for her. 
I'm very, very happy to see YouTuber doing well. And then lastly, Estee Lauder, as you know, it sent me a bunch of the um, their new Pure Envy matte lipsticks, and that's actually not what I'm wearing right now. But, um, and I love them a lot, and my favorite of the bunch, I think so far, has been Neon Azalea, because it's like crazy bright. It, it, I love it. It just makes me happy. Just to, I just want to bite it. It just, it's so pretty. See here, you can see what it would look like on. I've uh, worn this in a few vlogs. I wore this to the pep rally and the scrimmage um, last week and they stay on a long time, but they don't dry you up. I did buy another Estee Lauder lipstick on my own, the one in Impulsive that I wore in Wednesday's video. I thought that was a matte lipstick. It's not, it's just the regular line which I love. I love Impulsive a lot. Michael's obsessed with it on me. He loves it. But um, I'm going to go back actually and get the nude. There's a nude one in this range that I really like Look at the looks of. I saw it on Makeup by Tiffany D and I need it. I know they sent her some too. We obviously got different shades. She got the nudie shades. I got the bright and dark shades. So that, I'm just looking over my list. That is everything for August that I have been loving so far. I can't wait to see what September brings. Um, hopefully it will bring me some cooler weather because we have not been under 95 in a really long time and I would like to put on jeans soon and wear all my stuff that I got at the Nordstrom sale. Just sitting in my closet waiting to be worn. Anyway, I hope you had a great August. Happy back to school for those of you that are in any way involved in school, whether you're a parent or a student or a teacher or what have you. And um, thank you so much for watching. Everything I mentioned below will be listed. If there is an asterisk uh, next to it, that means it's an affiliate link. I thank you in advance for using them if you choose to. If you don't, totally cool. No hard feelings. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to another random collection of things that have been sent to me to review that I've used or mentioned briefly in videos sometimes but haven't done a specific video on these things and I feel like they merit your attention there.